September 22nd. We're on our way to Ashford Acres. Uh, this is the last one for Ashford Acres for this year. I've already got one booked for next year. I'm sure I'll have some more booked for next year as well. Um, yeah, kind of a gloomy day, but it's 66 degrees. I think fall is finally starting to make its way here. And I'm not one to usually complain about the heat because I cannot stand the cold. I am not a cold weather person. But this summer has been ridiculous. I mean, just insane hot. And I've had two kinds of weddings this year. I have had stinking hot and sticky or rainy. Today I'm hoping to avoid the rain. Uh, but uh, it was raining at home and this is east of home so it's probably going to catch up with me on uh, when, when we get there start time of uh, 4 15 it's uh 1 i'm almost there i'm like 10 minutes away from the venue so uh i'm not sure how much footage i will get of them dancing at this wedding because they have a very eclectic uh, style of music that they like they're an older couple, not older, but uh, late 30s, I do believe. So uh, it's going to be interesting. This will be my most challenging uh, wedding of the year, just because of how eclectic their music selection is and their taste. So we'll see how it goes. I might be surprised. Doing some really cool stuff for them, though. They have a uh, moon and stars theme, so we're actually going to uh, make it to where they're dancing under the stars and the moon. Uh, in the tent, and you'll see a lot of that tonight. I got a hemisphere 5.1 that's going to project white lights onto the uh, underside of the tent so it'll look like stars. And I have a moon monogram that looks like the moon. I mean, it's insane how much this thing looks like the moon. It's awesome. So uh, keep watching. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more to this video. If not, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And if you are not new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down in the comment section. And we'll see you at the video. What's up everybody it is september 29th last wedding of september and we're at bernheim forest in shepherdsville kentucky and uh never played here before pretty nice hall kind of a strange setup you'll see that here soon and uh <laughs> it's been kind of a crazy day uh, i had to run to dollar general to get some uh, batteries and gps took me to what <laughs> said was the G uh, dollar general there was no Dollar General there. It was a cliff facing. I don't know who put a Dollar General there, but uh, I ended up having to go like almost a half hour out of my way just to find batteries. So Google Maps, get your stuff together, because that is not the first time that's happened. Uh, once they instructed my fiance to drive into the Ohio River, so I think Google Maps has some serious issues that needs to get worked out. Anyway, a uh, little bit more to come. This wedding's a little bit like last week's, not heavy dancers, but they like a lot of older music, older couple once again, doing ceremony and reception. Stay tuned, we have a whole lot more to come. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about objectives. The two weddings that you just saw, one was on September 23rd, the other one was on September 29th. And I know those videos are a little late. I've been meaning to shoot this uh, video to kind of go along with it at the end of it. And um, what I mean by objectives is, is not every wedding, the objective is to keep a packed dance floor. I knew that going into both of these weddings that that was not the objective of the evening. The objective of the evening was to provide a good sound system for people to relax and listen to and so they could do their formals, but necessarily wasn't for a major dance party. 
Both bride and grooms uh, ranged in their mid 40s to mid 50s. They were older couples and they just wanted something kind of chill, speakeasy, antebellum style kind of wedding reception. Don't be afraid to take these kind of gigs. There's nothing wrong with them. In fact, they were very relaxing and I got to know them a lot more than I would have got to know any of my other bride and grooms just because you know I was invited to kind of sit down and talk with them during dinner and and have a good time. One of them did bourbon tastings and I actually did a little bit of, you know, of uh, bourbon tasting with them, something I don't normally do, but I actually grew, uh, grew quite close with the bride and groom. And it was at Ashford Acres, which is like a, you know, a mini size family for me. Uh, they're amazing. I look forward to working there again next year. So the point of the video is, you know, don't be afraid to take those kind of jobs. They're going to come around every now and then and don't let them discourage you. If As long as you know that going into it, you're going to be just fine. And it was nice having two weeks in a row of kind of stress-free weddings. It was really, really nice to be able to do those. Uh, a lot more videos to come. Uh, I've still got a bunch of weddings left to do for this year. Just booked another one for December, December wedding, and we're unveiling our photo booth for that one. So another big thing that's coming next year, I'm going to keep secret until we actually have our hands on it. But uh, as far as I know, I will be the only DJ in Kentucky with this add-on feature for my bride and grooms. And uh, I have a feeling that it's going to sell very, very well once I get it. The only trick will be convincing the venues to allow it. So, but that's, uh, that's a whole other story. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all later.